In my first video, I showed you how you can set up Cantabile to work with an external keyboard and run its sound through a simple VST reverb effect. In this video, I thought I would demonstrate how you can use a virtual instrument and set it up using multiple effects and racks. All right, now what I have set up here is a, just a single rack with a, an instance of my piano uh, set up and ready to go. For this example, I'm using Galaxy 2 uh, Vienna Grand Piano. And uh, before I do anything, I'm just going to make sure that uh, the sound of the piano is uh, coming through normally. And uh, once I've got that set up, I can go ahead and start uh, adding some plugins and kind of create a new sound that I'm looking for. So the uh, simplest way to do that, of course, is just start adding uh, new plugins here. I'll select the drop-down box uh, from here and go to Effects. I'll add a couple different effects that I, I like to work with here. I'm going to use some variety of sound uh, plugins. I've got an EQ here. I'll come back and add a, a compressor. And then finally, I'll add just a, a simple reverb here. And then um, once all my plugins are installed, of course, I can uh, tweak them and play with them and do what I need to do to find that uh, one sound that I'm looking for. Uh, the piano's running through all of them the way they uh, should be. Uh, of course, I can save this whole session here and come back to it later, and all the, the plug-in parameters, of course, will be saved uh, uh, the way I left them. But what I'm going to do is uh, move my effects out of this particular rack so that if I want to come back and maybe create a, an additional rack with a different combination of plugins, of course, I can do that. So what I'm going to do is just create a, a new rack here, and then the easiest way to do it, of course, is to just, uh, just drag and drop uh, your plugins into that new rack. Now when I play the piano again though, you'll notice that um, the sound is no longer going through those uh, plugins. That's because uh, the default output uh, for all these racks uh, is always the, the main uh, program's output. So uh, once I've taken away the effects from this rack, of course the piano is just going straight to the output again. So what I need to do, of course, is just change the routing a little bit here. And I do that by just uh, selecting from this drop-down list over here under uh, Send To. Uh, the new rack. So uh, the audio target is now going to be a rack 2. So now when I go back and play the piano, uh, that uh, sound is going back through all of my plugins. Now uh, this way, if I want to uh, come back uh, next time and maybe uh, create a, a third rack and, and install a couple different uh, combinations of plugins, I can do it easily. Um, and I'll show you more how to do that uh, in the next video. But for now, uh, I can save this as a session and uh, come back and have this uh, sound uh, ready for me to go. And what I've done uh, here is basically I just did exactly that. I've got this uh, particular combination of plugins already loaded up and tweaked the way I liked. Uh, I named it uh, Frederick's Transformation. And uh, I used it on a, a particular song that uh, is up on my blog. But um, uh, all the plugins have been tweaked uh, to the way I. I want them, and the only thing that you'll notice uh, different as far as the program goes, of course, is the names of the racks uh, have been changed. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just right-click on um, the name of the rack here, and of course you can select Rename, uh, or also uh, the F2 uh, function key, of course, will, will allow you to rename those racks uh, simply. And of course that becomes uh, more important as you have multiple racks uh, loaded up uh, when you want to change uh, where you're sending a particular rack to, then of course it just makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to remember what those racks uh, are doing for you. So uh, that's uh, that's it as far as uh, setting up a, a basic rack with some plugins. Uh, while we're talking about instruments here and virtual instruments, I'll mention one thing. Um, uh, as we go through uh, these videos, I'll I'll highlight different features here uh, of the program and, and some of the different icons and what they do. And in particular right now, what I'll mention real quick while we're talking about instruments is this uh, MIDI pass-through icon. If I wanted to create a, a layered sound, let's say I have a, a string plugin or some other instrument uh, plugin that I want to layer on top of my piano, I can of course add it to this particular rack. And if I play my keyboard, uh, uh, it'll play through these plugins as long as I uh, make sure that I, I set my MIDI pass-through uh, and just by checking this little icon, uh, this little arrow turns green, I can ensure that uh, the MIDI uh, data that I'm, I'm playing uh, through my keyboard is going to go ahead and pass through this first uh, plugin and into the second one. If I don't have that selected, then uh, I can load up all sorts of different instruments here, but uh, I'm never going to hear anything more than just my... Uh, my piano uh, plug-in here. So that's just one little thing you want to remember. Uh, if you uh, aren't really paying attention and you don't really see what this little icon is doing for you, you may find yourself having a, a couple of plugins loaded up in a rack and you're wondering why you still can't hear the other 
plugins being uh, played. So just remember that that's uh, what this little MIDI pass-through icon will do for you. It'll uh, just allow all of the the instruments to receive that um that plugin or all the all the instruments that uh, are set up so that you can pass through to the next plugin at least. So. Um, I think uh, the ability to uh, organize uh, your plugins in racks uh, uh, is probably one of the most powerful features of the program. Uh, in my next uh, video, like I just mentioned a little bit ago, um, I'll continue with th uh, this idea and show you how to set up a session using even more racks and multiple plugin combinations uh, so that you can have different sounds instantly available to you while you're uh, just using uh, a single virtual instrument.